guys welcome back i'm really excited about this project i had what i think is a great idea and i'd like to show it to you all right so i've collaged all over this straw paper bag and turned it into a little mini journal i had so much fun making these We've got Edith Holden, and except for like the Edith Holden, everything else in this book is either vintage or antique. And these are just vintage ledgers. And then this is a vintage workbook included, vintage ledger, antique. Oh, what was this? This is a 1906 physics book. So much fun to play with. Oh, and coffee bag paper. So that's new. Okay. Ledger, coffee. Oh, it's so, these were so much fun. And it's, <laughs> uh, it's taken me about three days to complete all of them. And I've got a pocket on this side with an, a journaling card and a book plate. And this came from Roxy Creations. I was thinking about making another journaling card for these. I'm not going to do anything with that flap. I love it just the way it is. So that's that one. And it's going to come with the tag in the front. And these are the extra cutoffs from the work basket book. I think that's what it's called. Pretty sure. Okay. And it will come with the binder clip. Okay. So we'll set that off to the side and I'll show you this one. This one I wrapped double just because. Oh, sorry. Okay, so for this, this is the Spring Botanic. <laughs> this is the Spring Botanic from Stamperia. And then this is the, it is Steam Tables, Entropy Tables from like a 1920s, I want to say. The numbers this is roxy creations um this is the entropy spring botanic from stamperia the green is just masking paper this is also stamperia so that's what i used for this one and they're small they're a great size they're three and a half by three and seven eighths really really fun really really cute this one I used a Tim Holtz um, Edith Holden and Tracy Fox the Tracy Fox is well I guess I was thinking she wasn't the primary on this um, but the primary was Tim Holtz which I guess it's true. Okay, and we'll go back to it. And it's got all the same papers in it. Coffee dyed, antique, physics. Wow, words are hard today. <laughs> okay, the work basket, vintage ledger, coffee dyed, vintage ledger. I really love the look of the vintage ledger pages in my journals. And even though this looks like just notebook paper, that's vintage ledger also. And again, I've got the extra from the work basket in here. Oops, that one. I did have to secure with washi. They didn't like, some of these pages didn't like being folded in half. And then this one's got this one. Again, Roxy Creations. And so I figured I, I wanted to make three of these. Three of them for a giveaway I'm having for my 100 subscriber giveaway, which I'm super excited about. And it's not going to be, um, let's think. Okay, so it's not going to be three to one person. It's going to be um, one to three people. And so I'm going to have the giveaway probably next week. But I figured together we could go ahead and make the last book because I'm really loving how this is turning out. I did ink the entire thing, and I don't know what possessed me to ink the entire thing, um, but I really like the way it looks, even though it took forever. 
Okay, so we don't need the signature right at this moment. So we're just gonna take it. I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't know if I'll have to do that off camera or what. I don't know how long we'll be able to record for. I'm so sorry, it's taken me five minutes to go ahead and get started. Anyways, okay, this is gonna be a tag. That's a pocket, that's a journaling card. And we're going to use, this is the Entropy Music Paper, the physics book. I've got some Italian pages from Rachel. Um, and we got the green masking paper and two Tracy Fox pages. These are her, oh, I want to say collage pages. I'm not quite sure. I think I like this one better. So we're going to start with that. And I started on the inside. So we're just going to do some collaging and it should be a lot of fun. I've been trying to figure out what I could continue to talk about on my channel. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Partly I could talk about what I'm doing, of course, but I do want to fill the time when I'm just either gluing or inking or doing stuff that I'm sure that you know what to do. Okay, maybe. Awesome. Okay, so we'll do the back first. I'm just going to take that much. And in addition to, I think we're going to do this. We're going to just cut right up there. And I'm not an expert in collage. I just love to do it. I watch all the other ladies who do collage and it just looks so much fun and I want to play along. So I just figure it out. Okay, so we'll put this on this side, which means I'm going to get the tear ruler and it's totally fine that it's totally different edges, like differently shaped edges. It doesn't bother me. Um, I do like to, well, that's a lot. Hmm. Maybe not. I really thought that, that was going to be it. Maybe it's just too big. I can use it on the journaling card. There we go. Try that. Hmm. So when I can't really visualize the space, I, I lifted this up so I could see how far over I needed to be. And I think because of that, we're just going to take this, this guy, put this there, and then that, maybe, there we go, I like that, okay, and honestly, okay, let's get these up. You do what you like. Don't collage for other people. You collage for yourself. Okay, we can pull this one up here and cut it off at this line. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and ink. Well, we'll just do this because that's going to be under something. And same with this. And of course the masking paper is harder to ink because it's so flimsy. So I just pinky and thumb and these middle and first fingers and just pull it as taut as I can in order to ink it. Or that. Okay, we've got that. And then we'll ink this. I notice that some people have a tray or something and then, then they go like this. I've always inked just on the edge like this. 
that's interesting. I wonder if it's just a hand motion or if they were watching someone and learned how to do it that way. Okay, let's do green first. And I apologize if you see things on my gluing book that are offensive, because <laughs> I've seen a few things that I don't like, but at the moment, unfortunately, it's, it's the only one I've got. I haven't been journal making, well, okay, so I've been journal making for a year, maybe a little over a year. And when I started, I was not taking apart books and doing it that way. I just completed my very first altered book um, a week ago, maybe. Yeah, last week was the first time I finished my first Reader's Digest that I altered. Um, I had taken book pages out, like the Edith Holden, and other things that I thought were interesting, and I had purchased book pages, but I hadn't actually done the altered book until my altered book swap that I am doing on Facebook. Okay, so that's really pretty. I like the ivy here. So I think we're going to use this also. I'm not a big fan. I am a big fan of the stamp, but not really the Eiffel Tower. So we are going to do this. Oh no. Okay. There we go. We'll just do it by hand. I'll just cut up here and we'll ink. And then um, we'll cover that up. Maybe with some music. I'm not sure. Anyways, okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, so I haven't altered my first book until recently. And the reason why I did that recently is because of the altered book swap. I've never done that before either. That's really exciting. My very first journal that I made was I followed Gail Gustinelli's Easy Beginner Journal. And it was just a little, actually, you know what? I've got it right here. It was just this little thing. And it was super easy to follow. I used the Graphic 45 Secret Garden. I've written in it. Um, it was so much fun to make. And so that was the first thing I made. Um, I did a double cardstock and it's so imperfect, but I made my first journal and I loved it, adored it. I still use it and I still love it. Even though there's a lot of mistakes on there that I see now. My second journal that I made was following a Nick the Booksmith. Ooh, what if we use some of that? Put that up there. And we could do this big chunk of Italian wording. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a Nick the Booksmith, her scholarly ledger course. Okay, so if we want a Big chunk of Italian on top. Mm. Maybe this side. I don't know what this says. <laughs> okay. There's protagonist. Okay. This one. That got pretty small, didn't it? That's okay. Okay. Um, Nick the Booksmith Scholarly Ledger Course. That was a lot of fun. Um, I then took her antiquarian, and her courses are amazing. I got mine when she was having her, I think, Christmas sale. Not this. Oh, I guess, yeah, this most recent Christmas. Okay, so now we need some masking paper. Cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so, oh, oh, and there's going to be a pocket there. So, mm, that'll cover up 
the Eiffel Tower and the stamp. There we go. We'll just do this. I really want a bigger piece of green masking paper though. I absolutely recommend a pair of these scissors. <laughs> I was just gonna say, they make things so much easier. I'm gonna totally munch that. That's okay. We'll do this. Yeah, so I, I haven't been taking apart um, books for a very long time. And I really was going somewhere with that. I promise. Um, nope, totally lost it. That's all right. You guys will forgive me, right? I promised myself that I'm going to be myself <laughs> on this channel and that I'm not going to fake anything or pretend that I'm not in pain when I am in pain. That's a big one. Because I tend to do that in my everyday life. I just pretend that everything is okay when I'm in excruciating pain. <laughs> I need to not do that. Okay, so we're going to take this and round the corner a little bit. And then ink that. Okay, we've got that. We need a little something else. Hmm. Maybe just some wording. Yeah, we can do that. I have a feeling that this is going to be a longer video than I've made thus far. Okay, cool. Take this corner off. Right there. And we'll cut it here and here. And I know that's silly. Oh, darn it. But that's why I did it. Okay. And then this off. And inked. I really love the look of the vintage grunge. I know I've said that before, but I really think that the inking goes a long way. Okay. We're going to glue this one down first, making sure I don't have any giant glue spots on my book. Being very gentle because I've already got those cuts in there. Line that up with this upper corner here. There we go. See? Awesome. You can't even see that. That's super cool. Okay. And you know what? I know that when Rachel sent me these, they were old books, so I'm not going to even chance it that there isn't going to be any glue to ruin this. I recently discovered that I we were always told that on my dad's side, there were ancestors that had come over from Italy. And anecdotally, we knew that um, we had ancestors that came from there. And that's where the Rossitano of it all came from. And that's my maiden name. Cool. That's going to look awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this in. But I, I found out recently that my ancestors came from Palermo, which is in Sicily. And I don't know if Sicily is the same thing as Italy or a totally separate thing. I once watched a video that said that Sicily and Italy fought. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just fun to think about. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get our front cover done. You're at 20 minutes. That's okay. Okay, um, airmail. What do you think? The chocolate? Hmm. Pull this one back over. This is pretty. Okay, we'll go ahead and pull that out. As wide as I like it. Nice. Okay. Pull this up here. Cool. And so then we need to take off just a tiny little bit. I'm using Vintage Photo for the inking. I, since learning about the ancestors that I have on my dad's side, I've been pretty obsessed about Italy and I always wanted to visit. Always, always. But it's expensive to fly out there. Awesome. And, nope, we need a longer piece than that. Okay. Sometimes it cuts perfect. <laughs> okay, that's a good. Okay. I just didn't want that tiny thing poking out. One way to do a little crease. Okay, and then we'll just ink. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. Oh, sorry. I totally hit you. don't want to have a YouTube channel that is scripted. Let's put this away before I think go bad. Okay. And then, awesome. Right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't want a, a scripted YouTube channel. Okay, so right now, I'm looking at how even this is. Okay, so it's not, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's obvious. Um, I was trying to figure out if I needed to cut that or trim it. it I should be good. Okay, and I'm going to need one of these Roxy Creations labels on the front, I think, to pull this off. Just not sure which one. Okay. I don't know what it is about collaging, but ripping and gluing paper is so much fun and it is so relaxing. Okay. I'm very excited about this giveaway. This is gonna be a lot of fun. And being able to give to three people, I've got so many wonderful people that have been messaging me and talking to me about how they also have disabilities or depression and anxiety, which usually goes along with having a physical disability. Well, maybe not usually, but I know it does go along with chronic pain very easily. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe? I cannot tell this one from up from down. Every time I put it up, it looks like it's upside down. And then I put it that way, and it looks wrong. Every single time. Okay, oh, excuse me. Maybe this one? I think that's the right side up. 
we think. That's pretty cool. Okay. We're going to need to cut this side also. Where are my scissors? Hiding. Yep. Totally hiding. Okay. Let's see if I can do this straight. I do not cut straight <laughs> at all, ever, ever. I've tried. Oh, believe me, I've tried. I spent 15 years scrapbooking and I stopped because my teenage boys do not like it when I take pictures of them. They're just whatever. I don't like to really do anything either. They like to stay home and play their video games. Cool. Okay. Now I know we haven't done the journaling card or the tag that's going to go in that pocket, but we're at 25 minutes. So we're just going to do the back. I bet you that's crooked. Yeah, we'll do the back really quick and then be done. And I'll make sure I try and get this uploaded this week. And I know that a lot of this looks the same. That's okay. Um, yeah, we'll take this whole thing out. Here. And here. And we'll go sideways with this. Can't believe that that worked perfectly. And then we'll do, do we do this or Italian? What do you think? Italian? Oh, okay, I have an idea. We're gonna put that there, that there, and do a Cavallini label. Nope. Here here and a label okay Get that and my so gentle with this I think school must be out I can hear all the cars we live on the same street as the high school and so it gets pretty loud around here at from like three to four and on Fridays where there's a football game there we go yep we'll still need the ink okay and of course it's always teenagers walking by which is fun and the things that they talk about and that that's not my teenagers that's the teenagers that are strangers to me it's pretty funny okay this one. Oh yeah I'm really worried about what they're gonna do <laughs> you can hear them all kinds of things okay we'll get that down and then we'll grab Do we do a little? No, I like this big blue label. Oh, excuse me. We have the sniffles, apparently. It's just allergies, as we know. Okay, get this down. I always check to see where there's gonna be sticky on my gluing book. And the best thing, like th these are really good labels. I wouldn't have to put glue on it. I just do because I want to make sure that everything is going to be good. I wonder if that needs a sticker. No, I think it looks good. Okay. Um, we're there at 29 minutes. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I should go ahead and bind this. Yeah, I can. Um, I'm going to have to re-ink some of this so you know what we'll come back and do part two i'll be right back thank you everybody for all of your kind words um and for your support it means a lot to me have a great day